Okay, so for the purposes of calculating everything, I'm going to show you how many pennies, how many cents we're going to use here that are 1982 and prior. So here's a fine jeweler scale. And for the purposes of averaging, here are 10, 30.95, Thirty point nine one, thirty point nine, and we'll do we'll do one or two more here. These are stacks of ten. Thirty point eight zero. So there's a lower one. And thirty point nine. So we're gonna say that every dollar, which is 100 cents, is 309 grams. So we're gonna check that with a little, gotta love my African gray in the background here. So let me tear that. Oh. All right, so those those five stacks that I just tested, there's one, two, three, four, five. So if you double that, that's 310 grams. So that's kind of what we're looking for per dollar. So if we go and put I'm just grabbing some out of a pile here from this latest $25 box that I just coin roll hunted. Oh, too much. Close enough. Let me see if I can take take one out and find one that's a little lighter. Nope. Uh, close enough. So 311 grams, 310 grams. Um, I'm gonna try to get that to 310 per. Nope. That's all we're gonna do. So my scale is not accurate enough. So we're gonna we're gonna go with 310, 310 grams for one dollar of 1982 and earlier Lincoln cents, copper pennies, 95 percent. So we're going to have 25 dollars worth and start there, and we'll see what we end up with. Okay, so what we're gonna look for in 25 dollars worth of cents is 7,750 grams or 7.75 kilograms, seven and three quarters kilograms. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh that out and go from there. The magic number here that we're looking for is 7.75 kilograms. Because my scale doesn't handle that, we're gonna break it up into, let me tear the scale. Okay, here we go. Just to clarify again, that all of these have been searched two, probably three times. I said I, as I went through these again to make sure that there's no errors, varieties, or anything like that. There's no wheat sense. Everything's from 1959 to 1982. So we're gonna go... Let's see if this scale... It doesn't advertise the capacity on it, so... I'm gonna see if it'll go up to four kilograms. 
and then we'll put the rest in another box. So far so good. So we're almost there. four kilograms even for that box. And here's the second box. We're looking for 3.75 kilograms. Three point seven five. There we go. So there's seven point seven five kilograms, twenty five dollars worth of copper cents. I have an eight kilogram crucible here, so I'm gonna go ahead and load it up with all the coins. to the top. We'll get these. Susie, you want to help me pick these up? Okay. That would make sense. 7.75 kilograms. This is an 8 kilogram. Really much. Okay. 8 kilogram crucible. So let's get the Devil Forge fired up and start melting some coins. We have a storm rolling in so it might be a little windy here. But I'm going to go ahead and fire it up and we'll get things going. So there's going to be some crud that's on top and that's the oils and dirt that was in the coins. So I'm going to skim that off. We're getting pretty close. I had to change the gas there. Yep, yeah, we're not quite fully molten yet. We're getting close though. There's not a whole lot. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna give it a try, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need more than the three molds I have, so I'm gonna pour those, and I'll get it back in here. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, we will quench those bars, get this back on, and see what we have so yeah I have the have the bars out of the mold wasn't the wasn't the cleanest pour in the world uh, this is the first time I've actually used this forge at full capacity and the, handling that much weight that's tough so we will quench these We'll pour the last bar here. Okay, last little bit here. Here is the final product, and uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of golden color there, and I think you can see it right here. That was, I guess, from my molds that I was using. Uh, they weren't extremely clean. Probably could have sanded them a little bit better to make sure that didn't happen. But can't sell this, can't do anything with it, because as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is legal as long as you're not selling it for profit. So this is not going anywhere, adding it to my collection. I have it, my stamp on both ends so I can, uh, so I know that it's formerly US mintage uh, copper. That way I can remind myself that it, it cannot be sold. So that being said, let's take it off the scale and let's weigh it and see if we lost anything. And we'll keep it in kilograms here. Oh, the glare. There we go. And you can see how the pour was kind of like this. This tells me that the material wasn't quite hot enough. So maybe one of these days if I'm really bored, I'll go and remelt it. So there we go, 7.4 kilograms. Whoop, my hand was on it. 7.4 kilograms of copper. So we did lose just a slight amount. That equates to 16 pounds, 16 pounds even. And at current 
current market market value um, clean copper is about two dollars and twenty eight cents per pound so you're looking at mm, thirty five dollars something like that I don't have my calculator on me and I'm not that quick at doing it in my head so that would mean you took $25 worth of pennies and now it's worth $35, right? Wrong. You have to factor in the price of the gas that we used to do this. And so that 25 pound cylinder, which is 15 pounds of gas, uh, we used not quite half of it. A refill on that cost $20. So for rounding purposes, let's call it $10 worth of gas. So you're even. You made exactly nothing on this. So I hope that's, uh, that further explains why it's pointless for these people that hold on to this stuff for years and years and years and takes up space and they say it's my retirement. No, it's not. You're not gonna, you're not gonna gain anything. You can sell the unmelted cents on eBay for a slight profit, but you could take that same money, put it in the stock market, maybe March 2020 to current date, May 2020, not a, not a good example, but you, uh, you can make more money with it elsewhere, you know, make it do, do something for you other than sit there and it's, you're losing money against inflation even. So it's, uh, unless, unless copper goes to $10 a pound or something like that, it's not worth it. So that's why I had this so I can show you that this is, this is why I don't keep copper. Um, I, it took me quite a bit of coin roll hunting to collect that much copper and there you have it. So I'd appreciate a thumbs up, comment below, and, uh, always consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, I'd love to grow this channel and grow it into a monetized channel and you can see much more content from me. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, thank you and we'll see you next time.